Hello everybody, my name is Ryan and I'm here doing another draft. Um, I'm actually doing a Cons of Tarkir Fate Reforged draft, um, continuing in the line of I have these packs left over and I want to play some magic, so... We've opened a Shu Yun, the Silent Tempest. Um, this card's pretty good. I don't rate it as like a complete bomb, but I'm probably going to take it. Um, I haven't really had too much chance to play it. I mean, it is rare. There's a Merciless Executioner, which is fine. A lot worse in this than it is in Dragons, because Exploit makes it a lot better. Um, yeah, pretty easy shoey on here. So, yeah, I haven't drafted cons for a little while now, but I'm a little out of practice. But, you know, I drafted a ton when it was the main thing on Magic Online, so feeling pretty good. And, yeah, I'll take an Avon Surveyor. I think it's probably just the best card in the pack, and it sticks with my Shuyun pick. So yeah, I'm going to keep on keeping on with blue. So you've got to really keep in mind about the, uh, the the different clans in the first pack. Like, I could be Jeskai Teamer. Oh, Cloudform. Oh, Pyrotechnics, though. Um, normally, I just snap up the Cloudform, but like Pyrotechnics is retardedly powerful. Um, there's also Heal Cutter in red, so like obviously I want to kind of be Jeskai because of this guy, but I could be Teamer, and I could be, um, like I guess I could be Saltai or whatever. But um, I'm gonna take the Pyrotechnics. I would love a Cloud Form. Just it's sweet because it's a creature that triggers Prowess, but um, Pyrotechnics is just a bomb. So also there's an Angler, a Rats, yeah, but can't say no to Pyrotechnics. I like how this draft's going so far. Yeah, I got a little sick of cons near the end, but um, it still is one of my favorite draft formats. It's really fun. Jeskai got a lot better when Fate Reforged came out. I feel like it was one of the, the worst clans, um, but when Fate Reforged came out, it got quite a bit better. I think Teamer's probably the worst, but the, I mean, they're all draftable if you're in the right one. What do we got? Ooh, Muck Draggers. Uh, oh, there's a right into being... I don't mind a War Flare, but in this deck, like, this is another creature that triggers Prowess. Um, so I'm going to take it here. I don't mind. This is the best rune mark by far in the Jeskai deck. Um, there's a Dowsing Gloom, which I quite like. But I think it's pretty easy right into being kind of stick on color, which I like doing. Yeah, this is a good start to a draft. Two really good blue cards, a very solid blue card, and just like a bomb red card. Quite like it. Ooh, Bloodfire Enforcers. There's also just a Saltwater Cliffs. Uh, there's also a Scout. Ooh, a Team of Battle Rage. This is actually kind of tough. I already have two Sorcery spells, which means this is a lot better. There's a Scout and a Team of Battle Rage, which isn't the best in Jeskai, but it's very good in Teamer. But there's also a Swiftwater Cliff, and I'm very tempted to take it, but... Oh, this is tough. It's been a while since I've drafted, so I don't remember how highly I should be taking the Swiftwater Cliffs. Like, it's an on-color fet... or er, not fetch land. Um, I think I'm going to go with the Bloodfire Enforcers. May seem weird... No, I'm going to take the clips. I'm going to hedge. Oh, Team of Battle Rage. Um, Angler is quite good. Monk is fine, but I don't want to move into white unless I have to. Like, if there's good green cards, I'll gladly switch to green. But I'm going to take a Team of Battle Rage. There's a Whisk Away. Probably taking that. I like a Jeskai Sage as well. There's also a Jungle Hollow, but that's not really in my colors. So, yeah, Whisk Away is a good removal spell. We're definitely going to have to take some creatures here, but yeah, I like the way this is going. This is a bit of a hedge. Oh my god, this is late. What is this? Like, one, two... This is eighth pick Wild Slash? Jeez, that is really late. Also, a Soul Summons pressure point's fine. The Scoured Barons, but yeah, Wild Slash. Stick it to two colors here, and, like, that's, like, premium removal. Wow, that is a late Wild Slash. 
super happy with that. I'm kind of happy I took the cliffs, too. I mean, like, I would have liked to take that Bloodfire Enforcers, but... Yeah, I'll take a Scout. I think it's better than, like, Enhanced Awareness. And we need Creatures as well. And a Gorse Wine. Sweet. Sweet with Team or Battle Rage. So we've taken 10 picks and all of them in our deck so far. That's very good for Favor Forged. Pretty happy with this so far, not gonna lie. Although usually, like, the ones where you're super happy is where you just bomb and, like, go 0-3 or whatever, but... <laughs> this deck's good. Um, I guess I'll take an Afrit. I mean, it is a 2-drop. Not super great, but... If you need more 2s or whatever. Like, I am light on creatures, so... And a rune mark. That actually might make the cut. This is definitely the best one. Refocus might also make the cut just because of Shu Yun. But I'm uh, not likely. But we've got like 13 playables out of the first back, and we're on pick 14. That's insane. Okay, I don't love refocus, but I mean, you can play it. Sure, take it for the board. I mean, we could still be Teamer. But I'd like to just stick to blue-red if I could. I mean, if I open a Jeskai or a Teamer bomb, I just move into either of those colors. This is what I love about staying open in a, like a two-color combination that could be in either of like two different clans. So red's really paid off here, taking the Pyrotechnics. Second pick is really paid off. Well, ooh, um, Ghostfire Blade, very good. I've made the mistake of passing it before. I would love a Heart Piercer, but I mean, Ghostfire Blade is so good. There's also an Ice Feather Aven, which is oh, very good indeed, and I could easily be Teamer. Um, maybe we'll wheel like a Canyon Lurkers. Loxnog's also good. I could pick this up and go Teamer pretty easily. But yeah, Ghostfire Blade is good enough that I'm going to take it. I mean, I've been so impressed with this card. I think we have like zero morphs. Yeah, zero morphs. I guess morphs not really a thing in Fairy Forge, but super happy with this deck so far. This card is really good. Like, just stick that on a Smoldering Efreet. I will not, however, take the Altar of the Brood. There is a, a Bivouac here, which is very good fixing. There's a Glacial Stalker, a Bloodfire Expert, which is sweet with Teamer Battle Rage. Um, like a smoky tea. I think I'm gonna take bivouac though. Like these are both very replaceable, and this isn't. Now we can be in teamer if we want. We can still just be blue red, or we can still be Jeskai. But Ghostfire Blade into on color uh, land is sweet. Nomad Outpost. Oh, there's a Snowhorn Rider. And also a Windscarred Craig, so we could still be Jeskai. Um, there is a Burn Away. It is removal, but I think we're fine on removal so far. We got Wild Slash, um, Whisk Away Pyrotechnics. I mean, Burn Away is good. We could also take this. It's just like a better Windscarred Craig. Oh, but there's a Scion of Glaciers, Snowhorn Rider, Canyon Lurkers. I guess wins with this too, but I think we're going to be having enough blue that this is going to be good. I do like a Snowhorn Rider, though. I am I think I'm just going to hedge and take the Scion. I think the Scion's quite powerful. Ooh, Suspension Field, that's scary. Oh, here's a Force Away. Force Away is pretty good. Suspension Field's scary. I like Force Away. I like Bloodfire Expert in this deck a lot. And I like a Snowhorn Rider, but... <sighs> Creature count's only at, like, six, maybe seven with, with the right into being. I might have to take a creature here. And it probably will be Snowhorn Rider. Yeah. <laughs> Quiet Condom. This is a deck that it could be good in, but... Um, not taking the Bloodfell Caves. Not taking Dragon Throne. I could take Hooters. 
just as like a big thing um splashing green but also a leaping master but i think it's pretty easy mystic is a hidden way here blaze bringer not really interested in oh there's a treasure cruise also a crippling trail both of those are good free weapon master is fine but i think we're more in teamer now there's also a thornwood falls which i would really like to take but um like, we're so light into green that I kind of want to take one of these blue cards. And I think Crippling Chill might be better in our deck, but I can't turn down a Treasure Cruise. Okay, there's a Jeskai Charm. Which is a very good card. Um, we could still easily be Jeskai. Maybe I just take this to hedge. Like, what am I skipping out on? Like, a Weave Fate? That probably not going to play. I'm going to take Jeskai Charm just for the, you know, maybe play it. Um, maybe play Cancel, but not looking to the blue black land doesn't do anything for us but this is a pretty easy canyon lurkers skaldkin's fine but I, I like canyon lurkers better oh sweet bloodfire expert wield yeah this deck's sweet man we could still either be green or white for snowhorn rider or jeskai charm but we do have the green fixing um fixing is definitely a high priority here just because of how many playables we have this is a pretty easy candy lurkers as well. Just getting more morphs for Ghost Fire Blade is good. We could use some twos though. Um, it's all junky trunky. Get out of here. I think I can cut this refocus now. Um, sure, just get the borders. I don't even, you know what, I might just be blue-red, honestly. I don't even need to be in another color, and my mana would just be really good. But I need some more twos, like, badly. But I could totally just be blue-red. Yeah, I'm totally fine being blue-red, like. Do you have a couple more playables in the board? We're at, like, 22 playables. I guess these are, like, 20 playables, 18 playables mm -hmm. if I take out these two. But like this is pretty much free because I can just play this and play like one forest to flip it up and like it's still more. This I still need some fixing for. Well, there's a wooded foothills which is worth money, so I'm taking it. But uh, Mystic Monastery would have been a sweet pickup. Also, ride down. Canyon lurkers. Yes, yeah, pack's not that great, and wooded foothills actually fixes for us, and it's you know worth five bucks or whatever now. I actually think I might have picked it, even if it's not money. Because, like, what else am I taking? There's not much, honestly. And this is fixes us for green, sets up this Snowhorn Rider. I think we can take Jeskai Charm out. I think the Snowhorn Rider is pretty much free now. I could even pick up another one or whatever, but... This deck's pretty cool. Although, it kind of looks weird. There's, like, no two drops. only a couple, and, you know, Smoldering Free kind of sucks, but whatever. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ho oh, ho, Sagu Mauler. Pretty much one of the best rares in the set. It's in our colors. There's also an opulent palace, which is kind of a good fixing land for us. Like this. Feet's good. There's cliffs, but get in there, Sagu Mauler. Jeez. Alright, our deck's sweet. Oh man, Avalanche Tusker? I guess we're teamer. I mean, there's a rugged highlands. We, I could pick up more fixing, but jeez. All right, like I guess we're teamer. <laughs> Man, teamer battle rage in this deck is gonna be insane. That on, on Sagu Mauler, Mauler, sorry. Oh my god, and a teamer charm. Jeez, teamer's wide open. What does this even do again? Oh, it's a fight spell, mana leak, or they can't block. Oh, but there is a force away. Do I really want Teamer Charm over Force Away? I think I do. I think it's just... You have a card that does three different things like that. Okay, well, I'm going to take the... Oh, jeez, I didn't see this. Also a two-drop. There's also a two-drop, but I really think I want the fixing. Also, an Arrow Storm would be really good, but I'm going to take the fixing. It, it pains me to do that, but what you gotta do in this format. I'm really sad about taking that land there, but whatever. 
We have way more than enough playables, so. Oh my god! There's a Warden, an Avalanche Tusker, and a Treasure Cruise. Oh my god. Even Barrage of Boulder seems good. But I'm gonna take another Avalanche Tusker. Oh, this isn't in my colors, never mind. But dear god, double Avalanche Tusker? And a Bear's Companion, oh my god, Teamer is wide open. What is going on? We In this pack, we got Sagu Mauler, Double Avalanche Tusker, Bear's Companion, Double Teamer Charm. Jeez. <laughs> Maybe like that... We'll pick up another land, because, you know, lands are... I can just cut this. Just have, like, no two drops. Like, honestly, our deck is so powerful when we get to the late game. Maybe I do need that as a two drop, but... This deck's power level is insanely high. Jeez, like, how good is Teamer Battle Rage? I wish I had taken another one now, but... Like, we've got Bloodfire Expert, Gore Swine, Snowhorn Rider, Double Lurkers, Double Tusker, Bear's Companion, Bear, Soggy Mauler. Ah, uh, even with this, it's kind of sweet. You can pump it and give it Teamer Battle Rage. Oh my god. This wield... There's a Canyon Lurkers, but this is a blue-red fixing land, so... Jeez. I guess nobody else remembers how to draft cons either, because this is pretty insane. Okay, well, here's a 0-5. Here's a, a Morph Sagu Archer. And Whirlwind Adept seems pretty good, but we have so many 5s that they're just better than this. Um, I don't... I, I guess I could play a Sagu Archer. I mean, it, it is a morph, and like we want those with Ghostfire Blade. Uh, I'm not playing these. I'm not going to play this, even with all our four power guys. I mean, it could be used as removal, which we're a little light on. Oh my god, Force Away Wield? Jeez. And we still have a Shu Yun. I think I'm going to cut the Rune Mark. Um, we don't really need it. Do we need two of these? Yeah, probably. Fight cards with our deck. So we're at 25 right now. I could cut like an archer. I could rather just have canyon lurkers. A banner. I could cut like a gore swine, but... Jeez, this deck. Oh my god, this deck. I guess Treasure Cruise isn't even fantastic, but, like, just because we're not re Well, I guess we have a lot of spells. I mean, all we have to do is get to five mana, and we just wreck them. We can have an insane start where we just turn one this. Or we can have an insane, like, just play, like, stuff on three, and then hold them off, and then just wreck them with our top end. Yeah, this deck's good. Wouldn't have minded a little bit more fixing, but yeah, I, I'm I'm not gonna complain honestly. <laughs> like this deck, I could even play like. All right, let's let's see here. So there's 24 right now. This refocus, whatever. Probably not playing it. Not gonna play the room mark just because our power level is high enough. Could play the smoldering of free just as another two. So we didn't really get that many. Um, uh, let's see what we got here. So this is, this, we have a lot of spells, jeez. Yeah, because now, like, we only have, like, two two drops. And, like, Martyr Scout's a little hard to cast. But, that being said, I might even want to cut this, honestly. No, it's too good. Oh, this is a morph. I'm not going to morph this, usually. But all of those are morphs. It's like here. Jeez, we got to make like three cuts. I do want to be 18 land in this deck, just because getting to five is so important. I'm just going to cut in a free and just go down on twos. Like, we could get run over, but like, I, th I, I think it's fine doing that. We could cut a three. Like Gorswine or Bloodfire Expert. 
It's probably just Gorswine. I mean, Bloodfire. Because, like, Gorswine's always a 4 1, and this is sometimes a 4 2. One more cut. I don't really want to cut anything up here. I need, I think I should cut a spell. Could be Force Away. Uh, but I think it's Teamer Charm. Yeah, this deck is, you know, pretty high power level. I mean, and we have options out of the board. Like, we don't have much going on at the beginning of the game, which is annoying, but... Alright, Bivouac, Monastery, Cliffs, Cliffs, Foothills. Let's see what Magic Online says. Okay, well, I don't want four forests, probably. Since we've got one, two, three, four... Nah, we need like five or six. So it gives us four, five, six, seven, eight, nine red sources. That's pretty good. Five, six, seven, eight, nine blue sources. Probably want another. Hmm. I think I kind of want another blue source because of this. So let's add to deck and then we'll count up again. So mm -hmm. this is blue, white, green. Okay, blue, red, green, I mean. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blue sources. I like. Green. One, two, three, four, five. That's cutting it a little low. But I don't think that's too bad. Like, well. Red. Or, yeah, red. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think I'm going to cut an island for a forest. And uh, go nine, nine, four, five, six, seven, nine, nine, seven. Sweet. We'll see you guys for round one.